Well, hey guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear. I'm glad you're back with us. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a new product we're starting up. A lot of people have requested this actually uh, from people who've bought a lot of our sheaths for the axes. The, what they used to be called was YAE, which are now the ROG handmade, handcrafted sheaths. They used to be YAE, that is no longer. People have requested this type of thing, which, uh, well, what they requested was a holster for their axe, something they could use to carry their axe on their belt. Uh, you know, especially if this is an axe that you are kind of like a, like a side axe um, that you're using to, you know, carry your axe and working in the woods or bushcraft or woodcraft, um, camping type of thing, not like a felling axe. Um, so this is very, for more of the smaller axes, and I'll be showing you a range here of axes that you can carry in these. We designed basically three different sizes and you should be able to carry pretty much every single ax that is carryable. Um, maybe not the very tiny hatchets, but most of the smaller hatchets and uh, medium sized hatchets and axes should be able to fit into the, one of these danglers or one of these, I'm gonna call them holsters. We're calling them ax holsters um, and they just go on your belt. So here's what one of these holsters looks like. It's basically one piece of leather that starts up here, wraps down for your belt loop, and then it takes a turn, comes around the front, and then it's sandwiched in between the, those two parts there. So it's kind of an interesting design. Um, somebody makes kind of a similar one that I saw, but not quite like this. And um, I just thought the idea was really cool to have one piece of leather instead of a couple. And the four rivets here uh, hold it together quite nicely. And uh, what it basically allows you to do is just slip your ax in and take it out. It should hold it pretty well. Um, on the front here, we have the stamp, the ROG handmade stamp. So these are handmade by either uh, my dad, Vlad, or I. So one of us will be making these things. So this is cowhide, um, and it is stained with a alcohol stain. So it should be waterproof, and if you sweat or anything, it should stay quite resistant to that. And these rivets are uh, full brass rivets, so 100% brass, uh, not coated or anything like that. So even if they wear, they should stay this nice, shiny, golden color. So I'm going to measure these for you just to kind of give you an idea of how big they are and how big of an axe each one can fit. But please go click the link right here, the I, go to the website. We'll have a list of all of the axes that each one of these will fit. There's three different sizes right now. We could make a bigger one or a smaller one per request. Um, but as of now, these are the three that we have. I'll give you the measurements. It's kind of hard to give you a measurement because you can sort of adjust the width by squeezing it. So if your axe is a little bit narrower, but more wide there on the handle, you can adjust that. So it's kind of hard to know exactly, um, but I have tried these on a variety of axes and I'll be showing you a couple here um, that these fit and um, I'll, I will have those in the lists. So let me just measure the way that they are. This is the smallest one and the width there measures at two and one eighth inch. Well, I guess that's the length and the width here is at about one and one sixteenth inch here. The slightly bigger one is uh, lengthwise, it's at two and three eighths of an inch. And the width is at about one and one eighth of an inch. And the largest one is very similar to the other one. It's, it's about two and a half inches long, and it is about two and a quarter inches wide. So all of these will have the same uh, width here on the actual band. It'll be an inch and a half here, as well as an inch and a half here. And it will accommodate a belt of one and basically three quarters of an inch. A little bit bigger, but not much bigger than that. Um, you can see here, it'll be just about one and three quarters of an inch for your belt to fit there. So make sure that your belt isn't too big. Um, we do. We can take a special request if somebody has one, like a, maybe you have a huge belt, and we could extend that actually quite easily. But these are the ones we have available. So let me put them on, and I'll show you how the axes look inside of them. Guys, I'm gonna try the biggest holster here with these three axes. Let me just mention that all of these axes are reviewed by me if you go to my channel. There's actually gonna be a link up in the corner to um, the second link there will be inside of the eye will be to watch it, uh, see a playlist of all my axe reviews. So just go there to check this out. But I'm gonna put them in my holster here. This is the biggest holster. So the first one is the Woodcraft by Council Tool, the Woodcraft Pack Axe. We don't have a review of this one as of this moment, but it's probably gonna be out there soon. It drops right in and that's how it looks. It sits nice and deeply in that holster and a nice 
you know, nice and stable. Um, it's easy to remove, so you just pull it up and just pops right out like that. Drops right in, no problem. And, uh, and of course, you can move that around and put it anywhere on your belt, behind, more to the front, however you like it. Um, and of course, you can turn it around and put it in this way as well uh, for any of these axes that I'll be showing. So that's the Council Tool Woodcraft Pack Axe. Here's a small forest axe from Grand Forge Brooks. Same size holster, fits right in if you want to carry this thing around. And it can go in backwards. Looks quite nice. And this uh, probably would be the limit of what I would carry, but I know some people actually were requesting. This is the Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. And you can also carry this thing. Quite a monster, but fits well. If you click the eye, each of these holsters will have a growing list of axes that I know for sure fit from other people or from my own experience. And again, just you can use the measurements and if your axe here is big enough or small enough, it will fit. So you can always order it and uh, try it out. Let's go to the next one. So this is the medium holster and uh, I have three axes here that this one will fit for sure. This is the Marbles Camp Axe. Drops right in and holds pretty well in there just like the other one, so it's a little bit smaller, uh, just a tad bit. And this is the uh, Grand Forge Brooks Wildlife Hatchet. Fits in really well. And again, all of these will fit both ways, whichever way you like it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to carry, you know, carrying it without a sheath, but uh, you can, technically, and it might be just a little bit more loose because it doesn't have a strap. Um, and that's with all of these. Um, I just don't like the idea of bending down and having that eat in. But if you're really careful, you know, it's up to you. I'm not responsible for anybody's injuries here, so please be adults. And then the third one I have here is the Husqvarna hatchet, the 13 inch hatchet. This one is kind of the upper limit of what this can fit. It's really nice and tight in there both ways. Again, it's just right. Um, also, you guys see that all these have these awesome sheets. They're also made by us, also available on our website. So check that out. Now let's go to the smallest one and I'll show you what that fits. So this is a Grand Forge Brooks outdoor ax. I have the smallest of the holsters here now. And, uh, Fits right in, and you know this is a really comfortable one to carry out in the woods like this. Super tiny, and uh, just fits beautifully in there. Almost can't feel it. it. Sits nicely on your hips, just like that. Now this one will fit a lot of the smaller axes and hatchets. I know Condor makes some hatchets. Uh, just you know, make sure that as long as it fits in there, and you, when you're checking your axe, make sure you don't only, don't only check the shoulder here, or you know this area here, the neck of the handle. I don't know what you would call this part. Um, I think it's the shoulder, but also check the swell because a lot of times the swell can be quite big and even bigger than this part. And that has to get through the holster. So just make sure that that fits. There we go. Well, thank you guys for watching that video. A lot of people have requested this thing and we are finally coming out with one of these holsters. So check out the website. Everything's gonna be on there. Leave your questions down in the comments below. Uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Check the description for any updates on this or the whole situation. Um, and very thankful to you for watching the video and always praise God for everything he provides for us guys. I will see you in the next video. This has been Eugene with the Review Outdoor Gear, signing out. By me. No.